thank you very much. Now that Thanksgiving's over, it's time to trim the tree. If you're shopping for a fresh one this year, we've got what you need to know. Here with some tips, Jason Cameron, host of DIFY Network's Desperate Landscape. Jason, looking good with the Santa hat, my friend. How thank are you? you very much. I'm good. How are you? Good Happy Let's holidays. Start, Jason, with the tree stand. The tree you stand. It, you got to have your tree upright. You right. can't have a tree falling yes. down. So these are two really good examples. This is the Kinner uh, Tree uh, Genie, and this is great because what's cool about it, it holds a gallon of water. It's got a water indicator which pops up, and you use your foot and you clamp it down, oh. which is, that is really any cool. Size tree that will work. That'll, that'll, that'll a seven foot high tree, okay. about six inch diameter. Okay. So it's really good for that. Uh, great. And this is the Omega. Now, this has a 30-inch span on the leg, which is great. Ah, so this will hold a 10-foot tree. tree, right? Nylon clamps. These just clamp in really strong. Holds a gallon of water, so it's a great tree So stand. it's easier than me lying under the tree. It's right. trying, to crank, trying to crank Always. that thing in. Exactly. And speaking of water, so, I mean, how much you should be watering it? Constantly, water right? is so important. What people yeah. don't realize is when you cut a tree down, more than half its weight is water. Okay. So you've got to give it a lot of water. Water is, is crucial to make sure it stays hydrated. Let's move into some of these trees, the most popular ones here. Douglas fir we start yeah. with. The Douglas fir is my favorite tree. Uh, it is, uh, it's a very popular Christmas tree, one of, the, one of the top ones in the United States. Actually, it's not a fir, believe it or not. It can grow, it can live to 250 years, and uh, it can live to 1,000 years and grow 250 feet tall. Wow. It's got good needle retention, good trees, uh, good branches, and it's really good symmetry, and it's a great lumber tree. A lot of lumber that you find when you uh, go to build something is, is Douglas fir. So that's your favorite. So, so when you buy them, favorite. how much do you ask them to cut off the bottom? You want to make a fresh cut on the bottom before you put right. it in the stand so it absorbs more water. So about two-inch disc off the bottom, just make a nice, fresh, perpendicular Perfect. cut. All right, let's move over to this one. Now, this one, is this for, a Fraser fir? Fraser right? fir, which I think is one, the one you got. Yeah, I think I got a Fraser. Fraser fir, you, you got, got your own? Actually, right? now that yeah. I look at it, I think I got this one. So yeah. anybody, all right, yeah. he's, he's yeah. a little confused yeah. in the tree. Fraser fir is a great tree, great symmetry. People like this one a lot because of its symmetry, because of its color, and its branches are strong. Good needle retention, so Fraser fir, unlike the Douglas, it's a real fir. So this is a really okay. nice tree. Okay, let's move to right, the blue spruce. A little different look over here. Yeah, a little different look. This Sturdier, is really, right? Very sturdy. This yeah. is actually one of the stronger branches. So if you've got heavy ornaments, right. uh, the Colorado blue spruce is a great uh, tree for that. Great color, good yeah. symmetry, and it's also the state tree of Colorado and Utah. So it's a really, so really Colorado nice tree. Colorado and Utah. Colorado and okay. Utah. There you go. All right. So and over this here, you've got this is over here, right? Yeah, Layla Cypress is really nice because it, you can see that it's soft, right? It's very right. soft. What's great about this is because it's not a uh, pine or a fir, it's not in those families, it doesn't produce sap. Uh, so if somebody has a sap allergy, this is actually an excellent tree for that. And it's a, it's a nice looking tree. Does it hold right. the ornaments as well? Though? It doesn't yeah. hold the ornaments as well. You got to go light with the ornaments. Light. You got maybe just lights and tinsel stuff like that. But uh, for somebody with allergies, this is a great alternative. It's a pretty look. Too. It's a pretty look, and it's yeah. a great tree for landscaping. All right, and, and over here, white pine. White yeah, pine. the white pine. Now, believe it or not, the white pine. If you guys smell this real quick. You don't really smell anything, do you? No. Wow. It's not very fragrant. That's the nice thing about the white pine is that if somebody's uh, allergic to a more yeah. uh, species that's more aromatic, this is a great tree for them because it doesn't give off a lot of uh, fragrance. So really, really good tree, good symmetry, and uh, really soft. It's a lot of times you want to add something to the water for the tree, and you've got yeah. some... Mad scientists. Mad scientists, yeah. exactly. So that's really important. We were talking about hydration. Yeah, keeping exactly. tree hydrated. One important thing is to make sure you don't put your tree around any heat sources, right? Okay. Keep it away from yeah. anything that's heat sources. The lights, make sure you use LED lights and not lights are hot. This is a miracle Grow for Christmas trees. Oh, you just okay. add it into the water, and it'll help uh, with the hydration. Or you can make your own. Now, it's weird that we have bleach here, right? Really? Yeah. But what you do is a splash of bleach, two cups of the, uh, of the light corn, corn syrup. syrup and then a gallon of water, you mix that together. The bleach will kill the fungus or any bacteria. Weird combination. It is a weird combination. <laughs> and this is like a sugar, so it's helpful yeah, with the food. Okay, so it sense. really helps. But keeping your tree hydrated is so important to make Very sure it's good. Jason, thanks so All much. Right. Always good to see you. Thank Merry you Christmas. Happy holidays. All right. Coming up next, hip hop legend Rev Run taking his family on a wild globe trotting adventure. He and his wife Justine have made a pit stop at our studio to tell us all about it. That's next.